Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Kenny Wallace Show. I know I have been gone for a little bit, but I've been racing that old Jags dirt car, and we've been running good. So uh, I got a little time, and I want to talk about some hot topics. How about North Wilkesboro Speedway in North Wilkesboro, North Carolina? This racetrack has been shut down for years. It has been left for dead. And NASCAR announced that the 2023 All-Star Race is going back to North Wilkesboro. Woo! <laughs> so many cliches here. It's true. You can go back home, right? Let's go back. Let's go way back and, and talk about how this racetrack was left for dead. If you remember, Bruton Smith bought North Wilkesboro Speedway and shut it down so he could take a race up maybe to uh, Loud, New Hampshire. The theory back then was, uh, we're gonna buy this racetrack, we're gonna shut it down, and that will force NASCAR's hand to run a race where I want it to be run. Well, it was, seemed like a good move at the time, but the fans, the fans did not like it. So uh, here we are, all these years later, you know, there's an old Aerosmith song, uh, you know, come full circle. And, and that's where we are right now. You know, you watch Major League Baseball and they do that field of dreams, you know, where the, you know, they reenact a real baseball game though now, and the players come out of the cornfield. Uh, but it seems like that's what's going on right now. So this North Wilkesboro Speedway is a phenomenon. Uh, we have watched all these dirt tracks, all these asphalt tracks be shut down all over America. I mean, the rally cry is, hey, fans, go support your racetrack. Before you know it, racing is a dying breed. Racetracks are shutting down left and right. But we should take a lesson from what happened at North Wilkesboro. There was a group of people that were die hard. They were like a dog getting, getting a hold of a cat or a mouse. They would not let it go. They would not let it go. And all of a sudden, before you knew it, know it. You got Dale Earnhardt Jr. on board. You have Jeff Hammond on board. You got some superstars on board. And when I really think this all started was when Dale Earnhardt Jr. said, hey, look, uh, we are going to go clean North Wilkesboro up because we want to scan it for iRacing, for computer iRacing. We want to put it on iRacing. And iRacing is a big deal. And lo and behold, what happens? You're going to call bullshit on this one, that coronavirus. That virus made the state of North Carolina. They got a grant, got millions of dollars. And they said, hey, take this millions of dollars and fix up Wilkesboro. Here's a couple more million dollars. Do something with Charlotte Motor Speedway. And that coronavirus grant lit a fire underneath Marcus Smith's ass. They took that money. And they said, well, hell, we didn't know. I think it was like $7 million. So, um. You know, Marcus Smith said, okay, we're going to take this money and we're going to fix Wilkesboro up. And everybody says, well, what are you going to do? And like, we don't know. And all of a sudden they announced, let's do like two months of racing at Wilkesboro. Everybody and their brother came out of the cornfields and they started cleaning this place up. Little by little on social media, you know, they were cutting the trees out of the racetrack and, you know, building new things, but yet keeping that old look. They learned from uh, Darlington. You know, keep that old look. And uh, they've cut some of that old look. I love it. I think it's awesome. But the real story here is that coronavirus money, they went to work with it. Now, here was the game changer. When Dale Earnhardt Jr., if you don't think Dale Earnhardt Jr. is powerful, look what he single-handedly did. Now, I will grant you, the crowds were big without Dale Jr. But when Dale Jr. took his son drop soda, you know, sponsored late model stock car to North Wilkesboro. It was a NASCAR cup crowd. No doubt. Look it up on Google. The videos are everywhere. Even, even I got goosebumps and went, holy moly, look at that crowd. Remember, Wilkesboro still has the NASCAR cup type grandstands. The big aluminum grandstands never left. They've been there in turns one and two. This place was standing room only packed. NASCAR 
when what the hell's going on over there and it didn't take long it didn't take long so uh everybody benefited and it i don't think it took one week to say hey this is where the all-star race needs to go so i'm gonna end you with this here's another cliche remember i said this is full of cliches the best plans are the ones that are never planned who saw this coming we never saw that crowd coming. Uh, it just goes to show that people are tired of all the negativity, all you know, the all that, and, and they were all in for it. I loved it. I got to tell you, there's a lot of people on board, you know, but it really was Dale Earnhardt Jr. that pushed it over the hump. I see what Jeff Hammond did. He did a great job. Uh, but like I said, there was a lot of things that made this happen. And here we go. I'm so excited. And um, NASCAR got lucky on this one. I really think they did. And uh, congratulations to Marcus Smith. He did the right thing with the coronavirus money. That was that grant. And, uh, you know, everybody said, okay, let's do it. And uh, something that I think is kind of funny, they were getting ready to put dirt on it, to run one month of dirt racing starting now. And they sent out a beautiful letter yesterday and said, okay, we are not going to put dirt on it anymore. We're going to keep it asphalt because we want to, you know, keep the integrity of this old asphalt. So here we go. Congratulations. I'm super excited. And I did run the very last cup race at North Wilkesboro. So who knows? Maybe I might go back and come back for the first cup race there. Uh, I'm sure that if you look at the old picture that we put out all over social media, it was a group of us cup drivers. Maybe we can get all those cup drivers to attend the first cup race next year in 2023 for the all-star race. So congratulations to everybody involved. And I think it's a wonderful story. You want to see swing? I'm going to go down swinging. Look deep within. I get lost in the feeling. I just need a win. I'm going off. I know it's time to make a change. And I can take the pain. You want to yeah. sink or swim? I'm going to go down swinging. Look deep I get lost in the feeling I just need a win I'm gonna find my meaning I can make a change I wanna play the game